Hi there, Ricky Tang here. A quick video while I've still got a little bit of daylight out the window. I've received in the post just a couple of days ago, after about five weeks waiting, they do estimate four to six weeks, my custom fit guards, my new uh, hearing protectors. I haven't got a lot of hearing left, so I decided to uh, finally step up my game, move from these, which I've been using these types of things, not, not the same pair. I've <laughs> been using these for years. I've decided to, yeah, move on up to uh, try and get some uh, more comprehensive protection for my hearing. Hopefully more comfortable protection and just more effective. The thing with these is, for me, I shove these up deep into my ears. I mean, proper. Oh, in fact, I'll show you, hold on. I'll just, I'll just put one in. <laughs> you know, that's how far it goes, proper in there. So the problem with that is sometimes they expand and they hurt my ear canal. They make my ear canal ache. Um, but if they don't go far enough in, I don't get enough noise reduction. And if I don't get enough noise reduction, my ears ring. So um, they need to go that far in. Anywho, I went for custom fit guard CF Auto version 2. Uh, with a couple of discounts, I got them for 101 quid. I went to Leamington Spa, like I said, about five weeks ago to get the moulds taken, to have some gloop poured into my ears, have it set so they can uh, get the shape of my uh, inner ear. So that goes in my inner ear, that just sits on the outside. Um, and so, yeah, that's what we got. We got a little case for them as well, a little thank you card, some basic information, I think how to bang them in your ears it reduces high frequency sound and allows lower sounds like traffic noise to get in i do know it's adjustable so you can adjust the level of reduction the sliding bar i think that will let less sound in so i hope i haven't just wasted a load of money on these products i hope, I hope it's suitable i'll find out uh, probably tomorrow uh, i expect they'll go for a motorbike ride so but let's see how they fit in my ear i hope one says l and one says r give me a sec i'm gonna undo this lanyard this strap which cost me an extra 15 pounds to uh, have fitted that's a uh, basically an optional extra and I've done a very bad job. Oh, there you go. Just had to uh, undo that to uh, get them to open. Right, so let's try and get this in my ear. Okay, yeah. Went into my ear canal pretty easily. Um, almost as if it was made for it. So it's in as far as I can tell. But I'm pretty sure the switch for me is going to have to be down. With the switch uh, in the lower position to uh, block out more sound, it does sound a bit closer to my normal earplugs that I wear in terms of uh, sound reduction. So there we are. Custom fit guards. I shall be uh, giving them a little test ride in the near future. Uh, so uh, thanks for hanging out with me so far. I'll see you on the road. Forgot to mention the other bits that come with it. I got ear balm, which I think might have to go into your ear if your ear is a bit on the dry side generally, or maybe a little bit irritated by using these plugs. Might be wrong on the irritation part. Um, and this is the earwax scraper. Don't worry, that doesn't actually go into your ear. That goes into the hole. You get a uh, buildup of wax inside the hole, then this will help you scoop it out yeah so again see you on the road and uh, i'll let you know what i think of uh, these dubris cheers see ya it's been one minute after my <laughs> previous video um i've just found a problem with this lanyard i hope you can see it it might not even focus but these lanyard this this cable obviously is connected directly to the earplug and i can hear that in my ear as if it's happening right next to my ear so fortunately the sound gets transferred directly up the lanyard into the earplug so i can see me getting rid of this lanyard 
the sound just goes immediately like there. It's like um, it's like it's one of those toy telephones you used to try and make out of uh, paper cups and a string. It's horrible. <laughs> something I had not anticipated so yeah I think I'll be getting rid of the lanyard hello again <laughs> um, just to let you know I didn't have that earplug fitted properly I don't think um, when I put it against my ear I don't think it was positioned properly I had to rotate it back and it fits better into my uh, ear lug in my lug hole <laughs> so uh, that's a better fit I think so yeah I think that's what we're uh, working with. See you tomorrow. <laughs> Hello there. Oh, plane. Give me a minute. Right, I'm just about to go for a test ride with my custom fit guards. And uh, I've already hit a bit of a problem. Uh, the problem is this. When I put my crash helmet on, even without the wind jammer underneath, what happens is my ears fold down. As I put my helmet on, the ears go down. And when I got the helmet on, <laughs> I jiggled the helmet around a little bit to uh, get the ears to pop back up into the normal place. Problem is, when I do that with the custom fit guards in, it's A, very uncomfortable, and B, uh, the ear guards move so they don't sit flush anymore. Um, especially when the ears pop back up into position, they're a bit loose. Then you have to try and take your finger in your uh, through the helmet opening to try and push it back. It's just no good so I'm gonna pause the video and show you what I'm gonna to have to do so what I'm gonna to have to do is wear this <laughs> over my ears to keep the ears flat as I put the helmet on I was gonna take my glasses off uh, when I put the helmet on but uh, yeah that's gonna to have to keep the uh, ear flat when the helmet comes on so it's not a great start um, I wish there was some mention of potential fitting issues uh, when wearing helmets uh, on the website and it would give me pause for thought so anyway I'm gonna put the neck warmer up there somewhere um, put their guards in put their helmet on and we'll go for a ride custom fit guards are in Let's see if they move. Okay. Pulling the helmet as wide as possible through with the uh, straps. Yep, that one's moved. So there's and there's no way of solving that by putting your finger in the side of the crash helmet so it comes off again okay we're in again just by putting up the uh, neck warmer that one moved I think we're good. So there's basically uh, two tests. One at slow speed, like I'm using now. One at higher speed. And unfortunately, basically, it's already failed the first test. I mean, there's not much point uh, behind the first test, really. Because <laughs> ultimately, what I want to know is how good these earplugs are at cruising speed or higher to see if they keep enough wind out well or keep enough noise out and unfortunately um, up to 30 mile an hour they're not keeping enough noise out so they're keeping out some noise certainly just not as much as I'm used to yeah, there's a uh, kind of more wind noise, definitely, than I'm uh, used to, and I don't like that. 
I've had a lot of trouble with my hearing over the years. So my default approach to earplugs is I want them to kind of uh, keep out as much noise as possible. Not to the point where I can't hear anything outside, but uh, now I'm at a decent speed. Yeah, for me, personally, uh, just letting, it, letting in too much noise. So they've got some cheaper earplugs, basically, that do just act as um, sound blockers. I uh, don't recall what the rating is at the moment. I'll uh, flash it up or show you a website page. But I think, in hindsight, I should have bought those. And they do seem to do a decent job in their own right. They seem comfortable. And I think they work as advertised. So now that I've got home and uh, stopped riding, I think I can tell that um, the earplugs haven't moved since putting the crash helmet on and going for a ride. So no problems there. It's just that there's a limit to how much uh, noise they can uh, get rid of. And again, for me, they don't get rid of enough noise.